Wasn't it exciting to see how the scenes from the first Croods movie was created? From those initial sketches, to the wireframe animations, to the final cuts? A lot goes into those animated movies before you see them on the big screen. In fact, I went to college to become one of those 3D animators. Pretty cool, huh? Fortunately for you, it didn't work out though, because I wouldn't be here today. But this week, we're not going to be learning about animation. We're going to be learning about art far older than that. The first art, in fact. In this lesson, we're going to take a journey back in time to explore the fascinating world of cave painting, just like the dad from Crudes was creating. It all began with the discovery of the Lasco Caves. Imagine a group of curious kids and their dog exploring a French forest in 1940. As they wander through the woods, their dog suddenly disappears into a small hole in the ground. Intrigued, the kids follow, only to find themselves in the breathtaking underground world abandoned with ancient, vibrant paintings of animals handprints and symbols. Since that first discovery in France, we found cave paintings all over the place. Europe, Asia, South America, even here in North America, not far away from where we live today. Pretty cool, huh? Want to learn more? Check out this video. The very first paintings were probably made in caves about 15 thousand years ago. These pictures in the caves are often of deer, horses, cattle, mammoth, and boars, and they're located in the deepest, darkest recesses of the caves, far from sunlight. Archaeologists speculate or believe that artists created the animal images to guarantee a successful hunt. Many are portrayed or shown pierced with arrows and gouges in the rock indicate that cave dwellers may have even thrown their spears at their paintings. To create their paintings, the artists used charcoal or burnt pieces of wood to outline the shapes in the cave. To add color, they used dirt and they either blew that on through hollow bones or painted it with brushes they made. Why do you think our ancestors created these paintings? Scientists still aren't sure, but maybe one day you'll discover their secret. And guess what? These clever artists didn't just paint animals on the walls. They drew pictures of people and special symbols, kind of like secret codes in adventure stories. There's some people that study really old things like detectives of the past. They're called archaeologists, like Indiana Jones. Some of these archaeologists think that these symbols may even be the first form of writing, kind of like the Egyptian hieroglyphs. Isn't that cool? Now here's the fun part. Just like when you sign your name on your artwork, these cave artists left their mark too. But they did it in a super interesting way. They pressed their hands against the cave walls, and they blew colors onto them using charcoal and plants. It's like they were saying, I was here. It's like the first graffiti. For your studio time assignment this week, you'll create one of those handprint cave paintings using crayons, construction papers, and of course, your hands. What you'll do, follow the instructions on the video in the studio time assignment. What you'll need, crayons. You can choose any colors you want, but make sure you have at least four different colors. A sheet of paper, Brown construction paper or craft paper will give you the illusion of a cave, but you can use any thick blank white paper. What to think about? What do you think it would like be like to live in a cave? Would you paint on your own walls at home? What other designs like animals, human figures, or any other things would you add to your artwork? I can't wait to see your awesome artwork. Until next week, Keep being creative. Bye.